Welcome everyone to this week's video. This week I'm turning a maple platter that I started a while ago. Uh, so you saw the picture of um, the rough turned bowl. This is uh, me turning it several months later, uh, very recently. And there's a wall. I did some uh, work to the, uh, to the basement workshop and was lucky enough to be able to add some walls, which is greatly helpful. So here I'm sanding off the finish I had on it before. Um, like I said, I finished it several months, if not a year ago, and I, I just didn't like the color I put on the rim. Otherwise, it was a pretty beautiful piece of maple. So starting from scratch here and uh, see what we can make. So sanded it down to 400 and putting on uh, some sanding sealer. And here I'm using a scotch Bright pad to um, scuff it up before putting on the ebonizing uh, lacquer. So it'll have a black base on the rim from which I will use to then use some acrylic paint and a new technique that I have to give credit to uh, William's, William Hunt's channel, which I will link in the description of this video. I saw him doing this technique and was kind of enamored and had to try it myself. So. This is not my original idea, um, but imitation is the greatest form of flattery or something like that. So thank you, William. Here I'm dabbing on uh, some acrylic paint and I'm using the Joe Sonia line of paints. So I think I end up using three or four different colors here, but you really won't see the colors uh, until I use the balloon technique in a minute. So as you can see, I have the balloon and I am going to uh, use it to sort of spread out the acrylic dollops of paint and it end up, ends up making a, what I'm calling a coral kind of effect. And as you can see, I keep going around the rim and um, uh, maneuvering the balloon around to get some different shapes. I think if I were to do this again, I'd put some bigger spots of the acrylic paint to try to get some bigger, um, big and small on, on a platter this, this large. Here I'm adding a little bit more acrylic paint and then going back again with the balloon. Really a creative process to the person who, who was doing this. You could do all sorts of things. You could use one color of paint, two, three, four, five. Um, you could put it in one area and then a different effect in another area. Um, really the possibilities are endless. Uh, but if you stick around until the end of the video, I do show a close-up of, of the rim, which will really show the coral effect.
Here I'm finishing the inside or touching up the inside really, uh, sanding it up to 400 grit, making sure there's a clean line from the rim to the inside of the bowl of any paint uh, escaped through the tape, which there was very minimal. So this was a pretty quick process. And I may be overdoing it here with the sanding, but I wanted to be sure it was very smooth. So using a little bit of power sanding with 400 grit on the drill. And here I'm cleaning off the dust and debris with some denatured alcohol on the uh, inside of the bowl and the back. I wiped the rim off um, with a, just a dry paper towel to, to get any dust and also uh, vacuum it as well before I seal it. So there I'm putting sanding sealer uh, in the bowl. Here I'm using the Scotch-Brite pad again before I start with the X abrasive paste line. There is a link in the video description of how to get X um, products. Uh, they're highly recommended. They're great to work with, easy to work with, and have a wonderful um, end, end result. So check them out. Here I'm buffing off the sanding paste. And next, I will use the polishing paste once all of the sanding paste is, is buffed off. But as you can see there, it's already looking better even with just the sanding paste. And the polishing paste really makes it pop. And here's the polishing paste. And look at that shine from the polishing paste. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very good, but it really is great shine. Here I've taken, taken it off the lathe and I'm taking the uh, little nub off and sanding the, uh, the recess. And I'll put some sealer on that. And then I spray some lacquer on the rim and we'll be done. Here I'm touching up the edges with some 400 grit uh, sandpaper around the rim to make sure it's it's uh, as soft and, and no sharp edges as possible. I don't film putting the sanding sealer in the tenon or spraying the rim with the lacquer, but in a moment you'll see some stills of the final uh, platter. And just wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much for watching and there's the finished product. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. It's free, and I put out a new video every week. 
So thanks so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And until next time, peace out.